Uh, my name is Chama Walia and um, I'm the owner of uh, Tillage Village Farms. This uh, farm was established uh, in the year 2000. We've been here for the last 20 years. We were involved in um, a lot of uh, agricultural activities like growing of tomatoes, cabbages and um, uh, various vegetables until um, the year 2018 when we decided to just go into um, strawberry growing. We've been growing strawberries from 2018 to date. We started off with um, um, a number of uh, 500 seedlings which we bought from Makeni and from the 500 seedlings that we started off with we are, we've got about 20,000 seedlings now and uh, hoping to get to 50,000 by the end of uh, the year 2021. We're basically growing strawberries organically. So to support the organic aspect of it, we also um, incorporated in the rearing of uh, chickens for us to, to harvest the manure, which we use to grow strawberries. Do provide fresh strawberries on the market and the surplus, we're trying to uh, add value to it by making strawberry jam. As I mentioned early, we, earlier, we started growing various types of uh, vegetables like tomatoes and cabbages and okra. But um, we, we ended up with a situation where we, would not, we were not able to sustain the farming activity because of the, um, the price differentiation, the selling price differentiation in other crops. We grew tomato for about two years and it didn't give us any joy because the the price um, the prices of tomato were not stable Cro tomato is a crop where you put in a lot of uh, you put in everything that is need that needs to go into the crop you you fertilize it you spray it to protect it your management is perfect but when it comes to selling that tomato depending on the prevailing price we used to end up in a situation where we lost even the bit that we had put to grow the crop so that's when we decided to go into a crop that wasn't uh, what, what was more stable, and they were not they were, there was not too much competition in it. So we went for a one day training at uh, Farm Twenty Three on how to grow strawberry. We got inspired, and from there we came in and put in our first crop. So the first five hundred that we bought, it has um, we've been able to manage it. Uh, grow it and now we are into fruition and we are we are seeing the benefits of growing strawberries So I can say that strawberry is not that stressful Compared to growing tomatoes and cabbages strawberries. You can grow them throughout the year You can throw you can um, you can grow them throughout the year as long as you've got water strawberries um, are grown at um, a, a planting spacing of about one meter between plants and uh, 30 centimeters between um, um, one meter between rows and 30 meters between plants so we've invested um, into drip irrigation i've been um, um, i've been we, we irrigate our strawberry using drip irrigation reason being that um, we don't usually mulch our our crop and therefore, we use drip irrigation as opposed to overhead irrigation in that we want to harvest our crop as clean as possible. If we use overhead, the, the, the strawberry will come out with soil and dust and clay, which is not very good for the table. So we've invested in drip irrigation so that um, it will minimize the soiling of the crop at harvest time. The strawberry growing is a business it's a farming business that hasn't been um, exploited by many farmers. A lot of farmers now are thinking of um, the, the seasonal crops like um, maize, sunflower, uh, soya beans. But um, strawberry growing is a crop that you can grow throughout the year. It's a crop that can keep you busy throughout the year. And as it is, it's a crop that doesn't have too many farmers working on it. So the competition is very minimal. And as it is right now, we are able to, to decide on the pricing of the strawberry. Because there are very few farmers who are growing it now, um, it's the right time to move into, into strawberry growing.
So would um, encourage anybody who's got an interest in growing strawberries to get in touch with Tillage Village Farms. We provide um, seedlings for you to get started and we also provide uh, technical support for you to settle in the strawberry growing business. They are minimal in the sense that the only, the only obligation that the person who wants to be trained needs to do is to buy seedlings. In here we propagate our strawberry seedlings. Our cycle actually starts from here. This is where we propagate the seedlings ready for transplanting. We keep the seedlings here for about um, three weeks at most and from here it is ready to go into the main field. So this is just a makeshift greenhouse that we've come up with. It is nice and cool and we are able to propagate the seedlings ready for, for the open field. Strawberry growing is not as um, common as tomato growing. Every farmer who wants to go into farming, they either want to start growing cabbage, tomato, maize. Strawberry is pretty new in the country. So the competition is not stiff. Whoever is growing strawberry in the country right now is able to put it on the market. The, the variety that we have, a little variety, is able to give you fruit for four years, maybe even beyond, depending on your management. We planted our, the mother plant that we have, we planted it in 2017. This is 2021. So we're still getting fruit from the plant that we had planted there. Just like any other crop, strawberry needs a lot of attention. You need to fertilize it, you need to water it, you need to maintain it. But it's not as, when I say it's not as stressful as all other crops, the, the infestation of um, fungal attacks, the insects are not as high as when you grow tomatoes and cabbages. You are able to, to control the, the insects that are on the, on the strawberries easily, we even with, we even with uh, bio, biochemicals. With strawberries, from the time you transplant them, we are growing our, we are growing our plantation using seedlings. From the time you transplant them to about three months, you should be able to get your first flowers and your first so from transplanting to your first sign of a fruit it will take about three three months so it's a crop a cycle from um, from planting to the time that you start harvesting the fruits to take about three months and the variety that we've, we've we've planted is a variety called alita this is a variety which will fruit for about nine months of the year and it will hibernate for three years so with good management of strawberry, you should be able to have fruit nine months of the, of the year, and then three months it hibernates. Like now, this is the month of, of June, we've just gone into, into fruiting. Our, our plantation is fruiting, and we've already started to harvest. So we are going to harvest for the next nine months. And then thereafter, the crop will hibernate. It's the time that we manage it, fertilize it, spray it, maintain it for the next harvest. Zambia as a country has been blessed with a beautiful climatic condition. We do not need to grow strawberries in the greenhouses. Our strawberries are, are grown in the out, in direct sunshine. So Zambia has been blessed with very good climatic conditions. We don't need to grow strawberries in the greenhouse. So you can actually transplant your strawberry throughout the year on condition that you've got plenty of water and you're able to manage it well. We are selling our harvest on the open market. So we do advertise on social media to just say tomorrow we'll be harvesting and we get in these orders which we prepare and distribute thereafter. Uh, the demand for strawberry is uh, quite wide. The only problem that we have is the fruit is quite expensive. 
So as uh, Tillage Village, what we intend to do is we, we've gone into training a lot of farmers to start growing strawberries so that the many farmers we have, the more produce you'll get and hopefully will bring down the price of strawberry. Right now, strawberry is quite ex expensive. It's very, very expensive, but very rich. So Tillage Village intends to uh, train as many ag growers as we can. Last year, we trained about 15 uh, outgrowers who are growing strawberries. And uh, this time, as we speak, they are also harvesting and uh, contributing to the demand of the fruit on the market. It's a good uh, source of uh, vitamin. So we want to see if we can get as many people to start growing uh, strawberry as we can. So we actually do um, sell our seedlings to would-be farmers and we also provide technical assistance in growing it. Uh, the strawberry plant is actually a perishable, so we do not even keep it on the farm. From harvest, we directly, um, we quickly uh, clean it and package it for the market. So we're actually uh, marketing our products on orders. Once we get in our orders, and these orders usually come in through social media, we act actually advertise the harvest the day before, and when we do harvest, we package it and send it on the market. Whatever we are not able to sell fresh, this is what we are passing through our processing plant. We are making a strawberry jam out of the harvest. For strawberries, we are adding value in the sense that um, we, we've got equipment that is, able, that is assisting us into um, converting all the, the strawberries that we are not able to sell fresh. We use this, veg, we use this fruit to make jam. So at Stillage Village we've got a cycle where we are, we are collecting our manure to grow the strawberry. And whatever strawberry that we do not um, sell fresh, we are able to process it into jam. But as it is, uh, we are still open. We are only even doing it one-to-one. -one. Upon purchase of the seedling, we should be able to guide the farmer through on how to plant it, how to manage it, until they reach a stage where they are able to harvest the crop and put it on the market. The experience that I've had, a lot of farmers in this country are using seedlings. It's very, very difficult to start your, um, your, your strawberry plantation using seeds. A lot of us are propagating the runners to come up with the seedlings. There are very, very few farmers that I know who are growing, starting off their plantations from seeds. The color of the strawberry will be red, but depending on when it was harvested, you have different shades of red. If you harvest it too quickly, your red would not be as red as we expected. But when it comes to the sweetness, all strawberries that are grown organically with manure are always sweeter than the ones that have been planted and grown with synthetic fertilizers. So at Stillage Village, we do not grow our strawberries with using commercially um, commercial fertilizers we insist on growing our our strawberries using organic material so we have organic waste farm waste and manure the cycle as i have mentioned earlier is really working for us because as a farm we are not um, we are not wasting anything for those who are willing to venture into um, strawberry farming we are located in Lusaka West, um, off in Dipo Road, and our contact details are telephone number 0977-849567. That is Tillage Village Farms for those who are interested in, in purchasing seedlings and going through training to be a strawberry farmer. Manure is put right at, at plant. We put a lot of uh, organic waste and a lot of manure before we transplant the seedling. If we go into management nitty gritties, we actually do a trench like furrow before we transplant the, the, the seedling and put it with a lot of organic waste and a lot of manure. For strawberries, 
um, a stillage village we use uh, chicken manure so chicken manure what we've done is for us to have constant supply of chicken manure we've gone ahead and also um, keep a hand uh, a few birds of layers that we use that we use the droppings we pick the we collect the manure from the chickens to supplement the growth of our strawberries so uh, generally you can use any type of manure people who use cow dung there are people who use uh, droppings from the goats from the rabbits so as long as it's manure i think strawberry will be able to thrive on it so with time this is what the, the plant will benefit from as it grows but depending on how depending on the soil type and um, how the, the the strawberry is growing, it is advisable that you can actually add on manure as the, the growing period progresses. We start with the, the vegetative um, waste. Whatever we mow, whatever we cut, we turn it into compost. Compost plus the manure that is coming from the chicken droppings is giving us a very good base for us to grow our strawberry. So we've got a cycle where we pick up, we collect, the, we collect the manure from the chicken runs, we throw it into the, the compost heap. When our compost is ready, we use this to grow the strawberry. And uh, very soon we also want to venture into, um, into fish farming. Fish farming, we want to use um, the surplus water, the excess water from the fish pond. This would divert into, into the strawberry. So that will really like, um, really push us into growing this fruit organically. We will not need any use of um, commercial fertilizers onto the crop. Like any other crop in farming is about numbers. If you're going to make meaningful money, you must um, look into doing a meaningful acreage. So for strawberry growing is you need land, yes, and you need a lot of water. Uh, strawberries are labor intensive. We have, uh, when, especially when it comes to picking to harvesting, we need a lot of manpower. So we, we uh, Tillage Village employs about 15 workers. From that 15, we have uh, 10 ladies, women, and uh, five are men. So um, it's uh, it's labor intensive. Yes, to keep the the, the fields uh, clean. We need to weed and we weed manually and also when it comes to harvesting um, we need uh, a lot of manpower. Our packaging really depends on the on the customer. We usually uh, package our, our strawberries in, uh, in panets that is for the direct end user maybe for homes but we've also got customers who would want to buy the strawberry in bulk. We want to get it in, 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 in buckets Maybe they're going to add value as well. They're going to make jams. So it really, uh, packaging just depends on the, on the preference of the customer. It depends on, um, on the preference of the customer. Remember I said that we do give the customer depending on what they want. So we're actually treating our customers on one-to-one. -one. Our marketing system is we do not, we do not have any farm sales. Our, our marketing system is that we deliver to our customers upon order. Um, Tillage Village Farm is actually trying to go green. When I say um, we, we're trying to, to help towards um, uh, keeping the environment green, the ecosystem. So whatever we do here, we, we try to see if we can go eco-friendly. As Tillage Village Farms, we are advocates of um, doing things that is going to uh, make the environment better. We want to add and not take away from the environment. Taking away from the environment means using a lot of um, synthetic fertilizers. Taking away from the environment means that you, you, you're going to burn and pollute the environment. So it's a policy at Tillage Village Farms to bring down all these adverse effects that are going to take away from the environment. Agricultural sector, as a country, we are going in the right direction. I think there's been um, a government policy where they're trying to encourage as many people to go into agriculture. And it is working because we have seen um, very young faces venturing into agriculture now. Before, in the past, very few people went to agricultural school, but now we see that the agricultural schools are full and then we also we've also noticed that every person who's retiring is thinking of going into agriculture 
and not at the old age, at the right age, before you used to wait for somebody to to retire at the age of after 55, that's when they want to start going to go farming. But now that is changing. A lot of people are actually farming part time. And um, as a country, I think we are making strides towards productivity. have a lot of um, biochemicals on the market. You have pesticides and insecticides that are, are friendly. One uh, bio um, insecticide that we use here is an imbicidin. It's a very good um, insecticide. Keeps away the, the, the ants and all the insects that are able to attack the, the strawberry. And this is neem based. So now um, we, we do have some uh, outlets, agro outlets, which are stocking these bio insecticides on the market. The risks of growing uh, strawberries are not as high as uh, growing tomatoes. With good management practices, you are able to um, harvest a good crop, you are able to maintain it because the stillage village farms we only pray against uh, pesticides using bio uh, pesticides every fortnight and also. Um, Every fortnight, we spray against um, we we spray against fungal attacks. So it's not as intense, it's not as demanding as when you are growing tomatoes or any other vegetable. Very very important to be a hands-on farmer. If you are going to succeed in farming, all the farmers that you've seen who are making a difference are actually hands-on farmers, meaning that you need to you need to be on the ground to make sure that all your farming activities are being implemented. If you are a weekend farmer, a monthly farmer, you get the results of a weekly farmer. So strawberry farming need to be on site. Our future uh, prospects is a tillage village. We really want to enhance our value addition of uh, converting the, of processing the strawberries into strawberry jam. We want to um, we want to um, we want to help the country uh, lessen the cost of importing jams into the country. I think as a country we are able enough to to produce enough um, jams on the market. Look at all the wastage that we have on tomatoes, watermelons, avocados. You name it. If we can add value to all these fruits that we grow as a country, we will be doing. Um, a great favor to our country and that will lessen the importation cost of products that we can actually add value ourselves. So as Tillage Village in the next um, in the next phase we want to to get certification to to add value to our jams and put it on the Zambian market. We are working towards having our jams certified so that we can have it on the on the Zambian market. For the upcoming farmers, especially the youth, farming is, is the oldest profession. It has been in existence from time immemorial. To be a farmer, you need to have passion. It's not a business that you go in today and say you make thousands or millions the following month. You need to have a passion. You need to understand that what you are putting in, you need to nurture your seed. You need to management it. You need to manage it for it to grow, for it to, to flourish, to establish, and then to flower. Then you are able to harvest. So farming is not a, it's not a business that you go in today and expect to be a millionaire tomorrow. No. You need to you need to um, you need to have patience, and above all, you need to have knowledge. You just can't go in and say no. You so and so and so did so many hectares of maize. You are also going to do it. Start with a smaller portion, get the experience, be a hands-on farmer, then you'll see your harvest you reap from your efforts of farming. Um, when I say knowledge, the best farmers are not agriculturists. It's not people who've studied agriculture. 
when I say knowledge is uh, whatever you do, you must have the basic information. So you can, especially now, we have so much information everywhere. So if you decide to grow any any crop, you need to find out what it is, how is it grown, what are the climatic conditions, how much water do they need, what kind of fertilization, how long will it take. So that is the basic information that you need to know. Whatever you are going to put your hands on, get as much information on it before you embark on it. <laughs>